all right guys so we're gonna be going over unity now we're gonna make a 3d unity game by the end of this tutorial we're gonna have some sort of medieval survivalish kind of game going on not necessarily medieval actually but it's gonna be some sort of survivalish kind of game maybe some sort of roleplay-ish with quests and stuff uh basically this is gonna be up to you guys how we make this game uh, so just leave in the comments what you think we should be doing. But I think some of the stuff I'll be going over is stuff like tree chopping, mining, uh, quests. Uh, I still be going over all the basic Unity stuff. Um, so yeah, first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up Unity and you're going to be greeted with this page right here. Once you're at this page, you're going to hit new. Name this project. I'm just going to name it tutorial series. 3D, make sure it's 3D. Asset packages. I'm gonna import characters, cameras. Actually, you can import everything really in here. It doesn't really matter. You can just copy what I'm doing if you want. You're not gonna have all of these. Some of these are not in there. But yeah, so I'm just gonna do classic Skybox too. Hit done. Create project. And now, it's going to take a minute to just create the project. So I'll be back when it does that. Once we get in this, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go over basic movements and creating a map, really. And then we'll just continuously continue with improving our map and then getting into some coding with C Sharp and JavaScript. And eventually I might do something with JSON for databases and stuff, but for now we're just going to stick with C Sharp and JavaScript. We're going in between them because you actually use both of them together, which is pretty cool. So we're here. It took a quite a while actually, but we're here now. So the first thing is when you load up your game, you have all your assets down here. It's in your projects section. All your assets are going to be here, so all your skyboxes, editor, standard assets. Um... You have console, which you're going to be using when you're coding to see what's going on. Animation, which we'll go over later. Over here is your inspector pane. Your inspector pane is going to tell you about whatever you're on. So we click on your camera. It's going to give you all of your camera information, all the scripts that are on it, anything that's attached to it, any component, and also anything you can change, along with the position, the rotation, scale, etc. <laughs> Same thing with the directional light, which is, both of these are in the hierarchy. The hierarchy is basically showing you what is on the area of your game. So each area, which I think are called, what are they called? I forgot. We'll see in a second anyway. But each area has a hierarchy, and the hierarchy is basically saying what's in this map. So in this map, when you load it up, it comes with a directional light, which would be the sun, and a main camera, which we don't actually want. We are going to delete the main camera, since this is going to be a 3D game. We'll go over the, how to add the character later, but we don't actually need the camera right now at all. So, let's start off with something basic. So we're going to create a cube. This cube can be moved up with the up arrow. So there's three arrows. There's the Y, X, and Z. We're actually gonna, I wanna get this directional light out of my way. So you just move these around with the arrow keys to get them where you want. You can also move it with this position. It's actually, usually people are going to zero your thing out, which just makes it at the center before you actually move it around. So now after I've zeroed it out, I can now move it around as I wish. You, you you can turn by right clicking and then moving your mouse around. You can move your ca entire camera by left clicking and dragging. So we just kind of get used to and zooming in with the mouse wheel. Or if you're on a laptop, double thing. Like double tap on MacBook is what I'm using. So you just kind of you move around and kind of just get used to that. If you want to actually move this around, you're going to have to be in this thing right here and then the hand is just to move your camera around there's a rotation which you can now rotate it which you can also do in here rotation in your inspector just type in say you want to rotate 90 you rotate 90 we well, can't see it's already 45 put it back to zero 
Scale is how big it is, so 2, 2, 2 makes it that big, which can also be done with this thing right here. This is like an extension tool. No one really uses them other than when you're making a canvas, which is what we'll go over later. But you can just kind of drag it out like that. And then this, this is um mostly just used for canvassing, or canvases, I should say. It kind of just morphs it around freely. But I would never use that. Um, these you Generally, when you're using an object, you're going to be using the scale. So I'll set this to 2, 2, 2. Um, so yeah, we have a cube here. In the hierarchy, say you want to move it up, we just move it up, and now it's above the directional light. What else should we go over? A cube, a box, we'll go over colliders and stuff later. There's a material, so say we wanted to add a color to it, we would need to make a new material, which we'll go over materials later, actually. I just want to go over making a basic map. So what we're going to do now is we're going to delete the cube. We're going to right-click in the hierarchy, 3D object, terrain. And now terrain is what you're going to use to make the actual ground for the map. So we're going to zero that out. It's already zeroed out good. And so as you can see, it's pretty big. So now what we're going to want to do is kind of just morph it. So right here in the terrain section, this right here will raise and lower terrain. You can change what type of brush you want, the size of the brush, the opacity of the brush, so how intense it'll be really. And so now I'm just going to kind of go around with not like that, with a low intensity, and just kind of make this map look like a map, I guess you could say. So we'll go into terrain, pick the tool, and now we're just gonna go around this map and just create hills. And so I'll show you how to smooth this out in a minute, but you just wanna create a lot of hills because that's what a map looks like, right? So now that we have these hills, as you can see, they just look like a bunch of disks, really. Until, there we go. But as you can see, they do kind of smooth out on their own, but not completely. But you can do that just by taking this little eyedrop tool, which is actually going down to smooth your entire map. Just go over it. And there you go. Uh, this is the brush. It paints different textures, which we'll go over in just a second. This is the trees. You can place trees down, which we'll go over. There's some different idea things there. This is just a different version of the height. If On this regular height, it's raised and lower. You can actually just lower terrain by holding shift. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go over this map, make sure there's no areas that we have to worry about. So now I'm going to make some really big hills. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this, this smaller one, and we're going to create a mountain of some sort here. Right, so this is a little mountain now on the edge of the map. But we're not going to want to see that really because... It's just right here at the edge of the map, as you can see, we have a nice mountain. And so now I think what we're going to do is we're going to go over some textures. So in here, you hit Edit Textures, Add Texture, and you're going to get this little pop-up window, and you're going to pick Textures. So when you hit Select, it's going to come up with this window. And now I want some grass, so there's some basic grass. I'm just going to use this, and if you want the same grass, you're just going to Pick the same one for both of them. Not change any of that. Hit add. And now this entire map is going to be grass just because that's the main texture. But I don't want the mountain to be grass. So we're going to select a new texture. Uh, rock of some sort. We're going to make this mountain a cliff, I guess. So we're going to use these two. And at this top of the mountain, we're going to select this right here. And we're just going to paint that on. Even though it doesn't look too good, you can pick your own textures. I'm just using the basic textures right now. Get the back of the mountain too, just in case. I don't know why you would need to get the back of the mountain, but whatever. In this case, at least. And so as you see, the mountain has its own little kind of texture. And now, as you can see, the bottom kind of looks weird, right? Because it's just kind of changing into grass. So what we can do is we can select the, the grass texture and change this opacity down to, like, 13. And now, oops, even less. And change the size, too. And we're just going to kind of go in here 
and just kind of add some grass. Maybe make that opacity a little bit stronger. And just kind of go in and just create grass patches throughout here. Just so it's not like completely changing to grass. As you can see, we have some sort of a map now forming. Next episode, we'll probably go over building like houses and stuff. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we have a small world now. So next episode, I think I'll probably go over creating a house and adding a character into your game. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.